It starts when you go to bed. Attracted to your body heat, bed bugs awake from their rest and stimulated by their need for blood, they make their way from their hiding place towards you. Special receptors detect the carbon dioxide in your breath and they zero in. There is no hiding from them, no avoiding them. And once they find you, one thing is for certain, they will bite you. If ignored, one bite will quickly become dozens and then hundreds. But for many, the bites are just the beginning. I would say I probably had about 15 or 20 bites on my back. They were really red and big and they itched really bad. Waking up with the bites was a big surprise. I was covered, turned it over and you could, you could see nothing but blood spots all over the sheets. I see the hole in my skin, and many times it's not just one or two, but they bite in clumps, like tiny, many tiny holes. And then I, have, I get very bad allergic reaction to it. If they bite me on the joints, my joints get swollen. I wasn't sure if it meant that I was dirty. I was a little like embarrassed at first. I didn't like to go home at night. It turned a safe place in my home into a really unsafe place. I definitely, you know, dreaded bedtime. It is very upsetting that they can come into your life and just take over like that. Many bed bug victims never fully recover from the horror of being infested. But from a scientific perspective, bed bugs are actually brilliantly designed, adaptable creatures who are just trying to survive. Unfortunately, that just happens to involve drinking our blood. At the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, Mark Sadal is preparing to demonstrate just how these bloodsuckers operate. There are a couple of dozen bed bugs in this jar. They haven't fed in over a month. They can go up to a year, for example, without feeding. These guys are starved, and I'm gonna let one feed on me. Bed bugs are attracted by your carbon dioxide, but they know they've got you by the warmth of your skin. So I'm going to warm up my wrist just like this and get it ready. I think it's time to give this guy a meal. I can't tell if this bed bug is feeding or if it's just sitting there. And it's, it, it, I don't feel a thing. In the five to 10 minutes that it takes this bed bug to feed, it can increase its size and weight two or even three times on my blood. Well, the bed bug definitely finished feeding. Its body is bright red with my blood. The only thing on me is a tiny little dot on my wrist, and I didn't feel anything. It doesn't even itch. It's not hard to imagine that someone could have dozens of bed bugs feeding on them at night and not even know it.